He is known for being an American jazz pianist, organist, bandleader, and composer. He formed the Count Basie Orchestra in 1935 and took them to Chicago for their first recording. He led the group for almost 50 years, creating innovative techniques and nurturing the talents of many musicians. His name is William James, Count Basie. In the world of jazz, one name stands above the rest, Count Basie. Known for his incredible talent as a pianist, organist, bandleader, and composer, Basie's impact on the genre is immeasurable. In 1935, he formed the Count Basie Orchestra, and it was with this group that he would leave an indelible mark on the music world. Basie's innovative spirit led him to create new sounds and techniques that would become iconic in jazz history. One of his most notable innovations was the use of two, split, tenor saxophones, which added a unique depth and richness to the orchestra's sound. He also placed a heavy emphasis on the rhythm section, creating a driving and infectious beat that became the hallmark of his music. But Basie's contributions didn't stop there. He was also known for his skillful use of riffing with a big band, a technique that involved the repetitive playing of a short melodic phrase. This not only showcased the individual talents of his musicians but also created a sense of unity and energy in their performances. One of Basie's most profound contributions was his use of arrangers to broaden the orchestra's sound. By working with talented composers and arrangers, Basie was able to create complex and dynamic compositions that pushed the boundaries of jazz. This collaboration resulted in timeless classics like One O'Clock Jump and April in Paris, which are still celebrated today for their beauty and innovation. Throughout his career, Basie nurtured and mentored many talented musicians who would go on to make their own mark in the industry. Legendary names like Lester Young, Freddie Green, and Buck Clayton all came to prominence under his direction. Basie's ability to recognize and cultivate talent was a testament to his visionary leadership and his commitment to pushing jazz forward. Count Basie's biography is not just a story of a talented musician, but a testament to the transformative power of music. His compositions and innovations in jazz forever changed the landscape of the genre, and his influence can still be felt today. Basie's legacy continues to inspire new generations of musicians, reminding us of the profound significance of his contributions to the field of music. When Count Basie and his orchestra arrived in New York in 1937, they set up camp at the Woodside Hotel in Harlem. Their big break came when they were booked to perform at the prestigious Roseland Ballroom for the Christmas show. However, the reviews weren't as glowing as they had hoped. Compared to the polished and well-presented band of Fletcher Henderson, Basie's band seemed to lack that certain something. But Basie wasn't discouraged. With the guidance of producer John Hammond, the band made some adjustments to their style. They played softer, included more solos, and performed more standard tunes. They also learned to pace themselves, saving their hottest numbers for later in the show when the audience was warmed up. It was during this time that Basie made his first official recordings for Decca, showcasing his talent with songs like Pennies from Heaven and Honeysuckle Rose. Hammond also introduced Basie to the legendary Billie Holiday, who was invited to sing with the band. The band's first appearance at the Apollo Theater was a hit, with Holiday and Jimmy Rushing stealing the show. While Durham helped with arranging and composing, most of the band's numbers were worked out during rehearsals, with Basie leading the way. They relied on their collective memory and had arrangements rather than written notations. The band continued to make waves, playing at the Savoy and engaging in a battle of the bands with Chick Webb's group. Basie had the incredible talent of Billie Holiday on his side, and the press declared their victory over Webb. This publicity gave the band a boost in recognition, and their fame soared even higher when Benny Goodman recorded their signature tune, One O'Clock Jump. As time went on, some members of the band left for other opportunities, but Basie always found talented replacements. With his 14-man band, he secured a regular gig at the famous Door, a popular night spot. Their fame grew even more, and they received arrangements from Jimmy Mundy, including hits like Cherokee, Easy Does It, and Super Chief. In 1939, Basie and his band embarked on a major cross-country tour, including their first performances on the West Coast. Despite the challenges of the war years, with a high turnover of band members and lower pay, Basie and his orchestra continued to make their mark. They appeared in movies such as Reveille with Beverly and performed for Armed Forces Radio alongside Hollywood stars. They also kept recording and signed with the William Morris Agency for better fees. Basie's infectious rhythmic beat and enthusiastic team ensured that their music remained popular, even as swing began to fade and the public's taste shifted toward singers. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.